Hey, what's up all you go-getters out there? Today, I'm gonna show you how to install this thing right behind me. It is the PRX Performance Profile Rack with Kipping Bar, and it is kipping awesome. Okay, here are the tools you're gonna need. A drill, a 3 16th drill bit, a stud finder, level, tape measure, pencil, ratchet, a 15 16 inch socket, a half inch socket, and some pliers. Okay, step one. Take everything out of the box and lay it out neatly. You have two brackets, two uprights, four linkage arms with the shocks, kipping bar, two J cups, and all your hardware. All right, step two and the most important. Locate your first stud and find the center. Let's start with the bottom bar. Now measure 19 inches from the ground up. Connect those dots and do the same for the next three studs. Follow the steps for the top bar. Measure 88 inches from the floor or more importantly, measure 69 inches from the lower bar marks. This is the most important measurement. This needs to be very accurate, so take your time. All right, let's start to install the bottom bracket. With your drill bit, drill a pilot hole and attach one side of the bracket with a lag screw and washer. Do not fully tighten. Now use a level to ensure the bracket is level and drill another pilot hole on the other end and attach with another lag screw and washer. Do not fully tighten. And repeat this with the rest of the holes. Do the same with the top bracket. Ensure it's fully level and tighten lag screws fully. So you can tighten it fully, but just don't over tighten it. Now with the plumb line, and you can make your own, I just use a string and attach a weight on the end of it. Hang the line from the left ear and align the bottom bracket. Make sure you have a good boy there to check your work. Once lined up, now you can fully tighten the bottom bracket. Now let's attach the linkage arms to the brackets. Attach the plastic spacer here on the unbent gas shock side. Then take a one and three quarter inch hex bolt and a washer on the outside of the bracket through the gas shock and use a washer and a nylock nut on the other side. Tighten using that 15 16 inch socket, but don't over tighten. If you over tighten, the rack will feel stiff when you move it up and down. And repeat this on all four linkage arms. Now let's attach the kipping bar. Lay the bar flat on the ground so it's curving upwards between the top of the uprights. Using a three and a half hex bolt, two washers, and a nylock nut. Connect hole A of kipping bar to the fifth hole down from the top of the upright. Hand tighten this part and repeat on the other side. Lift the top of the kipping bar so the arms hang down and align with hole B with the top hole of the uprights. Attach this using the four inch hex bolt for two washers and a nylock nut. Hand tighten only, you'll see why in a minute. Repeat this on the other side. Tighten bolts on A and C, but do not tighten B. You'll need to remove this when attaching the arms. Now you're gonna need to find a willing assistant to help you with this next part. You gotta team lift the rack about 20 inches from the wall. Now you can begin attaching the linkage arms, starting with the top. Remove that four inch bolt and washer that I told you not to tighten. And add a plastic spacer on the inside of the linkage arm. And now you can attach it but do not over tighten. Repeat this on the other side. Now attach the bottom using a three and a half bolt washer, plastic spacer, another washer, and an eye lock nut. And do not over tighten. Did I say that yet? Repeat this on the other side. Now get your assistant back and help you lift the rack against the wall. It's gonna be pretty heavy. Now you can attach the gas shocks to the ears of the bracket using the already attached nuts. And just like that, you're done. Congratulations, now get to work. So overall, I'm really impressed with this rack. It's built tough, really sturdy, it looks really cool. Uh, pretty easy to install. I ordered this um, expecting it to come in a month and it came in three days. So that was a pleasant surprise. I hope you all found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I hope this video inspired you to go out and get your own rack, considering how easy it is to install. So uh, let's get to work.